I don't think you can fully understand what we've accomplished here unless you take a quick look back and understand the 10 years of triumph and setback and salvation that came and got poured right into the foundation. It was June 5th, 2005. My daughter Kennedy was just one month old and Marlo had just left her partnership at a prestigious law firm in Center City. And here we were, pouring every single penny we had and another two million that we borrowed into a dealership that was selling 40 cars per month. I had an agreement with Chrysler that within two years, I put a new face on this old dealership in the same footprint with a Chrysler Arch in their image program. But all I wanted to do right now was sell cars. My goal that month was to sell 80 cars. That would turn me a little profit. And I dove in, and I dove in hard. Welcome to David Dodge up on 202. I'm so excited. I get excited every time I come up. Call that number. Try us out. Hey, other dealers out there, call the number and see what happens. When you call our number, the first ring somebody's going to pick up and say, David Dodge Sales Department, thank you for calling. And you, you ask them a question. Ask them about inventory. Ask them what's on the ground. Ask them about our credit programs. Ask them about our 32 banks. You're going to feel that right then. And I dare you not to try to do that. Call that number right below. I want to say, hey, hey, when you're under the pressure I was under, you do some crazy things. But we sold 126 cars that month, and that was the day this building began being built. We got distracted when an opportunity came and we opened David Chrysler Jeep in the Philadelphia Airport Auto Mall. DriveDavid.com, DriveDavid.com. When I opened the Glen Mills location, people from across three states began shopping my name. My second location is the world famous Airport Auto Mall. Both stores were doing great. We were saving money and we started plans for two renovations. Then it all fell apart. Wall Street's worst day since 9-11. The Dow plunging more than 500 points. The S&P down almost 5%. The wreckage unprecedented. Banks lent hundreds of billions of dollars to home buyers who can't pay them back. Wall Street took the risky debt, dressed it up as fancy securities, and sold it around the world to safe investments. GM, just like Chrysler, is going to be forced to shut down a lot of its dealerships. The first big day for the Chrysler bankruptcy hearings will happen on Monday. We're granting Chrysler the ability to continue to pay their workers, continue to pay their utilities and their bills as the company is restructured. This has cost a lot of jobs. It is costing billions and billions of dollars, 50 billion probably when all is said and done. Suddenly, Chrysler and GM were bankrupt and I had become a national lobbyist for survival. It was the worst economic downturn of our lifetime. Renovation, well that wasn't on the radar. As quickly as I could, I downsized from 130 employees to 60. I remember forcing a smile on my face every morning just so that I could hide from Marlo exactly how tough things were getting. At least now we can see the end of the slide, a slide that's been occurring. Very hopeful that we're going to move through this quickly, that this bankruptcy does take the 45 or 60 days. Okay. If they reorganize, it's actually better for consumers because they'll come back stronger. And after several months of trips back and forth to Washington, we started to get our future in focus. Today, I am pleased to announce that Chrysler and Fiat have formed a partnership that has a strong chance of success. The federal government had given me two new partners, an Italian car company named Fiat and a restructured GMAC named Ally. We were alive, but there was so much still ahead of us and so much uncertainty and a lot of damage to repair. As a people, we do well when we make good things and not so well when we don't. The good news is, this can be put right. We just have to do it. So we did. So now we're back up and running with new partners, and we don't really know what's going on. But in 2011, they called us to Orlando for a meeting, and I saw Sergio Marchionne speak. And I knew that day, things at Chrysler had changed forever. A crisis can be a real blessing to any person, to any nation. For all crises bring progress. 
Creativity is born from anguish, just like the day is born for the dark night. It's in crisis that inventiveness is born, as well as discoveries and big strategies. A contract is an exchange of a promise for a promise. And so here's my proposal. The leadership team and I promise to deliver all the products that we've shown you today and to execute the development plans in exchange for your commitment to deliver our growth objectives, to comply with our dealer standards, to invest in our brands, and to adopt commercial practices that treat our products and our customers with the dignity that they deserve. An exchange of a promise for a promise. He promised us that day that every car would be rebuilt, fixed, reborn, and recreated. And that from then on, we could be proud of every Chrysler automobile we sold. And then for the first time in years, Chrysler went on the Super Bowl, and they said the same thing to the world. Because when it comes to luxury, it's as much about where it's from as who it's for. This is the Motor City, and this is what we do. Okay, so now I believed. I had to move and I had to move fast. The dealership had to be bigger than I ever thought. It had to be more beautiful. It had to combine technology and innovation and process. The game had changed. We were gonna be selling some of the greatest cars in the world and we had to give an experience that felt just like that. This country can't be knocked out with one punch. We get right back up again and when we do, the world's gonna hear the roar of our engines. Yeah, it's halftime America and our second half's about to begin. And as Chrysler was getting stronger and stronger, those who had written our obituaries, well, they were nowhere to be found. None of it would have happened without the efforts of a 59-year-old Italian-born and Canadian-raised auto executive named Sergio Marchione. It's been a long, rocky road, but fear is gone. When he took over Chrysler in 2009, this plant had 200 workers. By the end of the summer, there will be 4,500. We were all watching the country come back, and Chrysler was at the cornerstone of the Renaissance. The Chrysler 200 helped lead the brand to its eighth consecutive year-over-year -year sales gain. We fixed it. So here we are now, all of that in almost 10 years from the day we started, one year since we started construction, and this evolving dream has become real. The $200,000 arch that I promised Chrysler in 2005 has evolved to a nearly $3 million collaboration of process and innovation and promise. Some of these innovations we have developed have never been done before and prompted Automotive News to feature our dealership in their Dealership of the Future edition. We put 13 big screen televisions with pictures that support the brands, our dealership, and they awaken legacies and history. A diverse customer lounge that offers comfort in the theater, a tech bar or a cafe, and a special retreat for our younger future clients. We have food offerings and a coffee machine that offers you 100 different choices of coffee with three different premium blends that were picked by my clients. I wanted to create an environment that was so nice in so many different ways that when we went to tell a customer the car was done, they would ask us to take it back in the shop. We've taken our business development communication center and brought it down from the attic and right in the middle of the showroom floor. This ties all the internet and the phone communication directly to the floor traffic and makes the customer experience seamless. The showroom was built with the capacity for twice the sales staff we've had now, so that our 200 sales could become 400 sales and it could be done effortless. We've taken down the walls in the service lane so that our clients can pull right into a perfectly climate controlled environment and be met instantly with a service advisor at an iPad and checked in right at their car and on their way to cappuccino in the waiting room. And so here it is, my delivery of the promise. A dealership built on the history of yesterday, the successes of today, and the promises of tomorrow. I present to you the all-new David Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram.